Iron Talk is brought to you by Case IH. What are farmers doing to feed the planet? They're using Quadtrek technology, soil management, and planting systems from Case IH to foster a better growing environment that maximizes yield potential. Visit CaseIH.com to be ready. But spring rains come mud, at least for a little while, and sometimes stuck equipment. We'll talk about why your neighbor always gets stuck and what you can do to avoid the same result on your farm in today's Iron Talk. Did you ever notice that the same people are always getting their sprayers stuck on the wet years? Sure, maybe they could have waited an extra day or two to go out in the field, but there really can be big differences from one machine to the next. Let me explain. Considering self-propelled sprayers, there are some big differences. Some have booms in the front of the machine, others have booms in the back. Some have the engine out front, others have it behind the cab. The size and positioning of the spray tank is also a big consideration. But when it comes to getting stuck in a mud hole, the term weight distribution is one that you should pay attention to on your farm. There's a big difference from one brand to the next. By shifting more weight to the rear axle as you travel through soft and wet soil, your rear end of the equipment is much more likely to sink and eventually get stuck. Sprayers that balance the weight equally from front to back and from side to side are much less likely to find the bottom of a mud hole. Before you take your sprayer to the field next time, run across a scale and look at where the weight is distributed. It may just change your perspective and it will definitely help you improve your performance. That's all for today's Iron Talk, and now, back to the show.